So you registered for business calculus. Great, I'm looking forward to meeting you. Calculus represents a significant intellectual milestone in the history of mathematics and the history of civilization, actually. Calculus was discovered or invented or created simultaneously by Sir Isaac Newton, an Englishman, and Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz, a, a German gentleman, and they're given joint credit for developing independently of each other calculus. In this course, we'll look at four new ideas, at least it'll be new to many of you if you haven't taken a calculus course before. The four new ideas will be limits, continuity, derivatives, and integrals. These four ideas are very much interrelated. Of course, it will take us all semester to develop those four concepts. But here is an idea of how those concepts are, are interrelated. One of the issues that we're interested in is to find the slope of a function at a particular point. So here, this point that's labeled y, we'll be interested in finding the slope of this line. We'll do that by using limits, because we'll be able to find the slope of this secant line which will be able to slide by studying the limit until it actually becomes the slope of the line that we're interested in finding. So this limit process will be how we'll define derivatives, which will tell us the slope of the tangent line at a curve. Integrals will be used to find the area under the curve. The integral, the definite integral, will be defined as a limit process. And the exciting thing will be to discover how these concepts, these four basic ideas of limits, deriv continuity, derivatives, and integrals can be applied in a, in a business setting to answer some problems that calculus answers problems that no other branch of mathematics has been able to solve. It has really been a landmark moment, and that applies to business situations as well. Looking forward to working with you in class. See you then.